At the end of a flow learning session, people respond to noble thoughts and ideals. Sharing inspiration creates a memorable and powerful closing. Inspired by nature, many great men and women have expressed profound feelings of unity with all life. The English poet William Wordsworth invited others to seek renewal in the natural world when he wrote, Come forth into the light of things. Let nature be your teacher. Meditating on the words of great men and women helps us to feel a sense of oneness for ourselves. Choose one of the quotation cards that appeals to you and go off by yourself and think about its meaning and message. Reflect on the words and discover the special significance the card has for you. With beauty before me, may I walk. With beauty behind me, may I walk. With beauty above me, may I walk. With beauty below me, may I walk. With beauty all around me, may I walk. Wandering on a trail of beauty, lively I walk. Man is not himself only. He is all that he sees, all that flows to him from a thousand sources. He is the land, the lift of its mountain lines, the reach of its valleys. Wonderful how completely everything in wild nature fits into us as if truly part and parent of us. The sun shines not on us, but in us. The river flows not past, but through us. Thrilling, tingling, vibrating every fiber and cell of the substance of our bodies, making them glide and sing. If you love it enough, anything will talk with you. After everyone has had 10 to 15 minutes alone with their quotation, ask the group to come back and talk about how they felt. Flow learning has helped these people find a deeper awareness of nature within themselves. Their enthusiasm was awakened with Build a Tree. They tuned in and focused their attention on nature with sounds and animals' animals. Then they experienced nature directly with the camera game, bird calling, and tree imagery. Finally, they shared some of their inspiration and joy with each other. Flow learning can be applied and adapted to any learning situation. When applied to nature, flow learning instills deep feelings and respect for life. Tanako Shozo, the great Japanese conservationist, said that the care of rivers is not a question of rivers, but of the human heart. The most effective thing a nature educator or enthusiast can do for the earth is to cultivate in themselves and others a deeper love for all living things. Love unites us with all life and fires our enthusiasm to take nature under our care. I've written a poem that I say almost every day to remind me of the joy and harmony of the natural world. It's also a way of giving back to nature by expressing our appreciative thoughts of love and friendship. It's called The Birds of the Air, and it's been made into a song. It goes like this. The birds of the air are my brothers, all flowers my sisters. The trees are my friends. All living creatures, mountains and streams I take under my care. For this green earth is our mother. Hidden in the sky is the spirit above. I share one life with all who are here. To everyone I give my love. To everyone, I give my love. The birds of the air are my brothers. The flowers, my sisters. The trees are my friends. All living creatures, mountains and streams, I take unto my care. For this green earth is our mother Hidden in the sky is the spirit above I share one life with all who are here To everyone I give my love To everyone I give my love The birds of the air are my brothers the flowers, my sisters, the trees are my friends. 
are living creatures, mountains and streams I take unto my care. For this green earth is our mother. Hidden in the sky is the spirit above. I share one life with all who are here. To everyone I give my love. To everyone I give my love. 